Today in Charlottesville as well, local and state emergency officials will join volunteers to locate missing UVA student Hannah Graham. Yesterday, police announced that they had spoken to a man believed to have been with Graham in a bar the night she went missing, but said they did not have enough information to arrest or detain him after searching his apartment and then seizing his car. There is currently a $50,000 reward out for information about Graham's disappearance, and anyone with information is being urged to call police. Now, Kevin Lewis has been following this investigation and he has the latest on the case. If that young lady's touched your life in any way, you have the responsibility to help us find her. He spoke with commanding conviction, now, Charlottesville's top first. cop saying, bring Hannah home. Um, Detectives searched this off-campus apartment where a man who police say was the last to see Hannah alive lives. They seized his cell phone and car, but so far don't have enough evidence to arrest him. Think about that section of the mall and replay in their mind, did I see someone that is a black male, 32 years of age, six foot two, 270 pounds with dreadlocks with Hannah Graham. Across town, thousands lined up to sign up for a massive search. It could have been anyone. These UVA roommates say volunteering was the obvious choice. Last night we went to the vigil and singing the good old song, knowing that one of our who's wasn't out there singing with us, it tore us apart. It's horrible. For me, the main motivation, that's someone's daughter. You know, if that was my daughter, I'd, I would pray that people would come out like this. A sentiment police agree with. Jim and I sat with Mr. and Mrs. Graham this afternoon about an hour and a half ago. They want their daughter back. They want to know what happened to their little girl. Kevin Lewis, News Channel 8. News Channel 8 is following this investigation very closely. Please stay with us for continuing coverage throughout the weekend as volunteers continue their search. And online, you can find additional surveillance photos and ways you can help. Just head to our website. Once again, news8.net.